And welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Happy Friday. We did it. We made it to the weekend. Time to go out and eat all and drink all the things we've been attempting to avoid this week. Or, I don't know, this month was, I mean, is your New Year's resolution to eat healthy? We are going to make a delicious, healthy dinner on tonight's show. But while we do that, let's chat about our healthy eating habits. Don't worry, it's not like, let's have a talk, we need to talk. But we want to know, do you struggle with healthy eating? You can vote right now. Just go to kgw.com slash vote or go to your KGW app right on your phone. Do you struggle with trying to eat healthy? We have four options. Yes, I eat what I want. No, which is 100%. Good job, whoever voted that. And the last option is only on the weekends. I don't know, I feel like for me, sometimes during the week I'm doing really great, I've been packing my lunches, and then I get to the weekend, and I go out to brunch, and I eat all of the things, and boom, there it goes. But if you are planning to go out this weekend, you don't actually have to just eat everything unhealthy. Look at this, the Yard House downtown recently introduced a lifestyle menu with lots of healthy options. So I don't know if you guys can hear, the sound effects happening right now. It is real, it's in the studio. We are cooking up some shrimp. We are gonna make one of those options tonight. We have the executive chef from the Yard House, Chris, with us right now. This sounds amazing, it looks amazing. What is the lifestyle menu all about? So lifestyle menu is for those people that don't quite wanna eat that much, you know what I mean? It's more of the smaller portions, but you get really fresh ingredients. You know, like, like for example, like the halibut. It's a really small portion, but you get more, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, lots of like protein, mm, veggies, more protein, that more kind protein of thing. based, veggie based, like the Beyond Burger, for example. Oh, I love the Beyond. Yeah. Burger. Oh my God. But we're not talking about that. We are talking about a zoodle bowl, which is if people at home are like, "What is a zoodle?" It's zucchini. Zucchini noodle. Noodle. So instead of having all those carbs. You get all your zucchini. Are they? Do you think it's easy for people to cook at home? It's super easy to cook. So these actually, I prepared these earlier today. But all you have to do is take two zucchini, cut the ends off, get a spiralizer, yes, and then spiralize them. Get long, really long noodles out of it. Actually, some stores actually sell them already pre-done. Totally, I've seen them in the little like mm -hmm. clear plastic containers. If you are too lazy to do it at home, of course it's cheaper if you just like buy a zucchini and yeah. like, buy the pre-done ones. And then. You just cook them in a pan with all, all mm -hmm. the other stuff? Yeah, do two, three tablespoons of oil, just warm them up real quick, maybe two, three minutes. You don't want to overcook them because they get really, really soggy really, really fast. And so of course you're loading it up These will only heat for like 20 seconds in here. Wait, really? Yeah. Only 20 seconds? See, I think that's what I've been doing wrong. Yeah. But I do think when I've made zoodles, they get kind of soggy. So I started the shrimp, mm -hmm. I got the garlic, I got the, the cherry tomatoes, I'm going to deglaze with lemon, or sorry, Ooh. lemon juice and white Perfect. wine. Perfect. Beautiful. We're gonna throw in some basil. Oh my gosh, lots of basil. Some parsley. That's how you make it taste really good and taste really good. A little salt and pepper. Now while that keeps cooking for another minute, you even have some drinks on the table, which you might think, you can't have beer if you're trying to drink healthy, but on the lifestyle menu, there's some that kind of yeah, at least fit yep. into that. Yeah, so that Lagunitas, that's zero ABV. This uh, one that looks just like a cup of water? But it actually like has hops in it? It's not alcohol, yeah, it's okay. not alcohol. I'm so curious about what this, Whoa. Yeah. It's like a mixture between a seltzer. Like, like a Zima. And a beer. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually very tasty. Just like a little bit of the hoppiness that you'd get in a beer if you missed that. Wow. I'll let those cook. So you want to get, mm -hmm. get all that mm -hmm. sauce right there. Ooh. And then we'll take these and we'll just throw these in. And you said how many? Just like 40 seconds? 20 seconds or so. 20 seconds Obviously, we're noodles? like, obviously in the restaurant, we use gas burners, you know, so cook a little bit faster, but. And of course, if you come to the Yard House, which is on Southwest Fifth Avenue downtown. Yeah, we'll right take care of the cooking. Place. We'll take yeah, care of it Yeah, they'll cook it all for <laughs> you. You can have healthy options. You can have non-healthy options. <laughs> of course, you can find the menu and everything at yardhouse.com. Yeah, we have everything for everybody. They do also have yeah. a lot of beers if you want any yeah. type of beer. And this is the beautiful finished shrimp zoodle bowl. That's amazing. I can tell that you're almost done there, Chris, because it's things have stopped sizzling. Right. <laughs> That looks beautiful and amazing. Thank you so there much you again go. to the Lifestyle Menu if you're looking for all these options on the menu at the Yard House. And let us know if you make some zoodles at home.